Let's face it, with ETH ready to pump, nobody wants to spend their ETH. So I'm going to show you this secret strategy on how to buy altcoins without spending your ETH. What's going on guys, it's your boy Low Key back bringing you another video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm bringing you content on cryptocurrency and personal finance. And hey, if you guys do not have anybody to talk to about this crypto stuff or your investments, make sure you join the Shill Squad Telegram group. Link is in the description below, completely free. And this thing is growing every single day. Now, recently I just showed you guys a video about how to use Aave to basically get a loophole and get synthetics and get some staking rewards. Now, I got a lot of questions in that video and personally, I feel like I could have did a little bit better of a job breaking things down and explaining it. So today I'm gonna take you basically through the steps necessary in order to use Aave or any under other lending platform as long as you do a little bit more research, but as long as you have a good understanding of this one, you should be able to do the research on your own and basically going to teach you two different strategies that I use with Aave so that I do not have to spend my ETH when I think the price is going to rise. All right. Now, very first thing you're going to need to do, because a lot of people seem to not really know this, is you're going to need an Ethereum wallet. So if you're buying Ethereum on an app or website like Coinbase, or maybe you went to an exchange like Binance or whatever other exchange, you need to actually withdraw those funds. You need to withdraw your Ethereum into your own personal wallet. Now, there's a couple types of wallets. You can have a hardware wallet, kind of like what I got in my hand. This is what they call cold storage. But in this case, you want to actually use a web based wallet that can connect you to decentralized applications. So go ahead and download MetaMask. All right. MetaMask is like the standard industry standard for using Ethereum applications. Now, Ethereum applications, these are what they call dApps. You really don't need to sign up for most of them. Majority of them, all you do is just sign into your MetaMask as a web extension and you just click connect and boom, you're already in. So make sure you download this. Now, I want you to be careful because there's a lot of like fake MetaMasks out there. So I'm going to leave the link for the official MetaMask in the description below. It's extremely easy to sign up. All you do is download it add it to your web browser, Google Chrome, Brave, whatever you're using. And it's gonna give you a couple of words, I believe 12 words. You wanna write those down. It's like your password in case you forget your password. And honestly, if you do not have access to your password and that 12, those 12 words, you are shot. <laughs> you're gonna lose all your funds. So you wanna make sure you put it somewhere safe and maybe not on a computer where a potential hack or anything that can happen. Some people take pictures on their phone. I wouldn't suggest that. Just write it down, bro. Just get it over with, write it down. It's just 12 words, man. It's not that serious. But after that, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Once you're done doing that, um, your, your wallet should look like this, right? So I got a little bit of ETH in this account. You can make multiple accounts right in, in this wallet. And any token that is listed on Ethereum, you can actually go ahead and add it to the list. Right now I have like a little bit of USDT. I got a little bit of ETH. Now, every transaction you make with ETH, you're going to need to pay in gas, which is Ethereum. So you're going to pay ETH just to do transactions. Now, that's pretty much all you need right now. Go ahead and just send yourself your ETH, right? Right here is your address. Just send yourself your ETH. And from there, you're going to go to Aave, right? Aave.com, A-A-V-E.com. And I'm going to also leave the link to this in the description below. Now, there are two ways that I go about using this protocol, this decentralized application to go ahead and make myself some gains. Now, I need to warn you, the risk to this is that you don't know where the prices are going. So if you feel confident in the market, then this is when you do this. Personally, when I feel confident that Ethereum is going to rise in price is the only time that I do this. All right, guys. So just know that there is some risk to this. You always got to be watching your bags. You can't just let it sit and think that everything's going to be okay. All right. So this website is 
a platform where you can borrow and you can also lend. So once you deposit, you can start to earn interest. So if you just want to take your regular US dollars, right? You can go ahead and go to an exchange, get yourself some DAI tokens or some USD coin or true USD, USDT, SUSD. All of these right here, all the way up to Gemini dollar is stable coins. And if you wanna just earn interest, there is a variable APY, meaning that you can just earn 10.94% annually on your stable coin by just letting it sit here but it's variable because it changes so that apy can go up that apy can come down but nonetheless you're earning interest so that's that that is one way that you can just coast and just make yourself some gains all right now the other way that i like to use this right is to take my ethereum i like to deposit my ethereum right over here you can go ahead and deposit ETH, right? If I wanted to, I would go ahead and click, you know, 0.1, I would press continue, I would press submit, and then my MetaMask would come up and it would ask me if I need to confirm, if I would like to confirm. In this case, I'm not gonna do it because I'm not about to spend $40 just for a demonstration for you. Just know that this is not an in and out type of thing. This is something you wanna do when you think that you're going to make some significant gains, all right, when you have good opportunity here. But what I would do is I would deposit ETH, right? I deposited a lot more, right? So I'm gonna reject this one, but all you would do is just go ahead and click confirm. You can always edit your gas to pay faster to get your transaction through faster. Um, this is ridiculous, $50 is absolutely stupid. So that's crazy, but I'm gonna reject that. I'm not really trying to deposit that. I already deposited ETH. So I already have some ETH that I deposited, right? And what I did was I borrowed these different stable coins. The reason I borrowed two different stable coins is because the APR tends to fluctuate. It goes up and down. So I figured if I split it, kind of split it between two, then I don't have to worry about getting murdered on the interest rate, right? But I borrowed these stable coins and what did I do with that? I bought more ETH. Now, here's the thing. You can see over here, I have borrowing power use, 59.85%. Now, if my borrowing power was completely used up to 100%, I would get liquidated. My loan would get closed, they would pay themselves back, the loan would get paid back on its own, and I would take a penalty fee. I don't wanna have to go through that. So I'm constantly making sure that my borrowing power, I'm not using up a high percentage of it. I try to keep it 65 to 70% or under, just in case I go away for a little while, market takes a little hit that I don't have to worry about it. But the thing is, right, when you very first borrow, like the first time you borrow, Right, let's say I can go over here. Right now I can borrow 3,763 die. The first time you borrow, you might wanna borrow kinda high. Maybe you wanna borrow, not this whole thing, but maybe you wanna borrow like 3,000. Why is that? Well, what I do is once I get those die tokens, I go to Uniswap or any exchange that has die and I buy more ETH. I would basically just go here, I would just select die once I receive it in my wallet, and I would trade it all out for more ETH, and then I would come back to Aave, and I would deposit that ETH again, which is what I already did. I would deposit that ETH again, and then my borrowing power comes back down. And now, if the price of Ethereum continues to go up, which it is right now, ETH is looking pretty good right now, we're at 1325, I was doing this around, you know, 1100, $1,200, right? If the price of ETH continues to go up when it's all said and done, right? Let's say ETH doubles from here. Well, now I have 22, 23,000 worth of ETH. All I'm gonna need is maybe 20% to 30% of the ETH to pay back this entire loan. That's basically how you go ahead and flip with Ethereum, right? And, and this protocol Aave, because if I owe five grand here, right? 
but I used it to buy ETH. Maybe I bought five ETH with it, right? Let's say I borrowed five grand and I bought five ETH at $1,000. Then I deposit it back here, I let it sit, and the price of ETH goes to $2,000. Well, guess what? I only have to use 2.5 ETH to pay back my entire loan. So now essentially I got 2.5 ETH for free. This is kind of a way of leveraging. It's kind of like leverage trading at a very small rate um, without all of the complications of the market moving too fast and stuff and learning about all these different technical analysis trends, right? So this is how you can kind of long the market. I've done this many times over and it always helps me multiply my ETH. So when it's all said and done, if ETH goes to $5,000, I'll only need one ETH and change because I'm, I am accumulating some interest and in debt here, right? So maybe one ETH and change just to pay this back and then I get to keep the eight ETH, whatever I deposited, the extra that I bought, I'm basically locking in the price of ETH at its current value. That's what I'm doing. Now, there is another way that you can go about this. If you feel like there are certain altcoins that you think are gonna catch some significant gains, well then maybe when you borrow, you don't borrow a large amount. If you can borrow 3,700 max right now, maybe you just borrow $1,500 or 1,500 DAI tokens, and then you go ahead and look, this is an altcoin that I've seen going up, right? This is one that I actually have. I'm holding a small portion of it and it's going up. And um, let's just say, boom, you got into this altcoin and seven days later, cause you knew you had a great feeling it was gonna go up, right? Seven days later, it went up 3X, right? Almost 200%, 100%. 200%. So you're like triple the value at this point. Well, then you can actually come back, pay back that 1500 that you borrowed because now if you borrowed 1500, you have 4500, you can pay back that 1500 and your funds will then be released to you. Let's go back. Then basically your ETH would open up back to you from what you you could withdraw. Your debt is taken care of. So that's another way that you can use this protocol without spending your ETH. Because while you're out there flipping that 1500 DAI tokens that you borrowed, your ETH is still gaining value, gaining value, gaining value. So if the price of ETH is going up, but you think that maybe perp, perpetual protocol is going to double in the next seven days. You don't want to sell your ETH. Well, you can come over here and you can just go ahead and do that. Just borrow a little bit of die tokens, let the price of ETH continue to go up and then make that flip on the side. So that is another way to use this protocol. Now, finally, the last one, I'm going to retouch on what I spoke about with SNX before. So the different markets, these are all the different coins you can borrow and lend. Now, SNX is a token that has staking rewards. Right now, um, the price of gas doesn't really make this worthwhile. But if you feel like you're going to be staking SNX or 0x or Kyber or maybe Chainlink when their staking comes out, whatever the case might be, you can actually do the same process. You deposit your ETH. Sorry about that. You can go ahead, deposit your ETH, right? Just deposit some right over here, deposit however much you want. And then you can borrow whichever token here. You just need to pay back that same token, the same amount of that token. So if the price of that token is going up, you want to be careful. The reason you want to be careful is because your borrowing power is going to go down the higher the price of that token goes. Because if you look over here, DAI tokens, they stay at a dollar. But if the value of it were to shoot up to like $5,000 from this 3,000, then my borrowing power is going to go down and I could get liquidated. Well, that is more likely to happen with something like SNX that we we're looking at over here. If the price of SNX is going up, you want to really be careful. Maybe you can just withdraw your SNX tokens and just pay it back. You can just pay it back, but you got to pay back the same coins that you borrow. So that is why I like to borrow stable coins mostly. Now, if the price of SNX is going down, the opposite's gonna happen. You're gonna get more borrowing power because your ETH collateral is worth way more than what you borrowed. So you're gonna have more borrowing power and you could just pay back the same tokens. 
If you borrowed 100 SNX tokens, pay back the 100 SNX tokens, regardless of the price. Now there's interest being accrued, so maybe you pay back 100 point five or 101 snx tokens so you got to keep that in mind as well so that's basically the three strategies that i have you can use it for coins that you want to stake if they're on the platform you can use it to buy all coins you want to definitely go very low with your collateral with what you're borrowing in that case and then you can use it to multiply your ethereum as long as the market is going up on ethereum um, then that one works very well for me as well and right now like i mentioned price of eth is doing pretty good right now so let's just see where the market is headed man now if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments below i think i covered this at a decent enough rate that you know i don't make too much of a long video but just go ahead and leave the comments below and then hit me up in the shill squad telegram group man more than welcome to just come by other people can answer questions as well it's really fun in there so a lot of people dropping gems in there stuff that's doing 5x 6x 2x all the time all the time on a 2x so make sure you join the shield squad telegram group i will catch you guys in tomorrow's vid i'm out of here peace